just before we get into the video, could I ease, please ask you to like it either before or after? It really helps me out and I very, really do appreciate it. And uh, basically the point of this video is to try and convey the mindset and what you need to do to get a nuclear. So hopefully you enjoy. What's up guys? This is Omega Liar and I'm back. Day two of my uploading schedule. One thing I should mention about the schedule, it's it's subject to change. I said Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, but I can switch those dates around as long as it's five a week. Now that I've cleared that up, I finally, finally got a nuclear. And this is the gameplay. It was a very, very kill intensive gameplay. And admittedly, it wasn't the best players I was playing, but that's mostly going to be the case if you're, uh, if you're going for a nuclear or something like that. Uh, as you can see here, I'm using the AN-94 with an MMS and a silencer, and my god is this gun good. I, I was, when I got this, I was actually going for the gold challenges, I was mainly going for long shots. So you'll see me uh, trying to pick people off at a distance, and I actually didn't get a single one this entire game. But uh, I do have gold on the AN-94 now, I have some gameplay with that that you might be able to see later. Uh, but, that'll be for later. Uh, right now you can see my perk setup, Hardline, Ghost, uh, toughness, scavenger, dexterity, and then obviously two attachments on my first gun. Uh, there is no, there, I have no secondary weapon, and I have no third attachment or anything like that. It's just the way you see it. Uh, that's what you get. And I have my perks, uh, my kill streak set up, a AGR, which more recently I've fallen in love with in the same way I fell in love with the War Hog, uh, orbital VSAT, and Lodestar. And those two are basically like default at this point. But this is not really a setup that would be used for getting a nuclear. Uh, the fact that I got one was a different story entirely, but uh, I was able to take away a lot of stuff in this gameplay, and if I were to actually just have sat down and try to go for a nuclear, I know exactly how I would have done it, and uh, I think I might be able to help you guys if you don't already have one. Because there's a couple of accomplishment, accomplishment things you can do in this game. The first of which is the most obvious, get diamond guns. Diamond submachine guns, diamond assault rifles, whatever it is. That's satisfying. Getting relentlesses, getting flawlesses, those are satisfying. But getting a nuclear is kind of like this, this title that says, I stomped on people really hard for one game. Uh, it, it's something that only the better players really have. And so it's not going to be something that I tell you these magical tips and then you get instantly. Because admittedly, I had trouble with it too. I didn't get one for a couple months. And I'm not that bad at this game. So <laughs> anyway, this is what I've pulled away from. First of all, you have to use whatever you're trying to do, your gun has to match your map. I'm using an assault rifle on standoff, and this map is entirely middle range gunfights with some close range combat. So an assault rifle is more than ideal on this map. Now on top of that, I'm using the MMS, and even though a lot of people actually don't like the MMS, I think it's the most powerful attachment in the game. It gets you kills that you simply wouldn't get in other situations. Uh, you saw early on in the game, I picked up an LMG -er because uh, I heard him firing. Um, I didn't exactly know where he was, but then I was able to aim through the wall, see where he was, walk around the corner and pick him off like that. No big deal. So uh, I think the MMS is absolutely fantastic. Uh, some would argue the target finder is better, but when it comes to getting kills that you wouldn't get normally, the, the MMS, it simply can't be beat. And I would definitely recommend it if you're going for something like this, whether you're using a submachine gun or an assault rifle, right? because those uh, those penetration kills that you'll get when shooting through the wall, will you, you will notice how many more kills you're going to be getting, just consistently per game. It's probably like five to six kills per game. So the benefit is awesome, and it it doesn't have any drawbacks. Really. Some people say it bounces around too much, but I really just don't think it does, especially on guns that have straight front and back recoil visually. But that's another story. Anyway, you're also going to want to run perks that are going to work for you. And in the long run, that basically means that you're going to want to run scavenger. Because the last thing you want to do is have to rely on someone else's gun in order to get your kill streak. And that just won't work. So you see, I actually make an effort to run around and pick up scavenger packs. Because I, I just don't want to run low. I don't want to have to deal with that. I don't want to run out of ammo and be screwed. Uh, on top of that, I mean, the kill streaks they do help out. Uh, they get me a bunch of kills, but that doesn't do anything than really slow down getting the nuclear. But obviously, there are kill streaks that you can run that will help you out in the long run. And these are the four that I think are best. Uh, 
UAV is a fantastic kill streak if you're, if you're trying to get a, uh, the nuclear. Uh, in the time that you'll be getting nuclear, you'll probably scroll through a bunch of UAVs, assuming you run the setup I'm about to recommend. So after UAV, basically, you only have a few options. One of which is counter UAV, and that can be great, especially if you're not using a silenced weapon, but they get shot down, they don't have that much benefit. People tend to ignore UAVs, but a counter UAV will get shot down pretty quickly because an enemy will actively know that it's there simply because it blocks their radar. So I would actually give counter UAV a miss, but the one that you definitely can't give a miss if you're trying to get a nuclear is the Orbital VSAT. If you think about it, the Orbital VSAT takes 1,200 points to get, and that means you'll get two in your way to do a nuclear. And as it turns out, that's exactly what I get here in this gameplay. Two Orbital VSATs. And so, first of all, in an overall V set, you'll probably get at least five kills because you'll know exactly where the enemy team is and it becomes easy at that point. It's just a matter of pointing and shooting before they walk around the corner or just catching them off guard. So the orbital V set is 100% necessary. And now the third one is up to you. I think the EMP would actually not be a bad idea if you're just going for a nuclear. Because to wipe out all enemy electronics, to what basically one that means that your next UAV will stay up, and there's there's a lot of other benefits that come with that too. People tend to be a little bit less aware when they don't have radar telling them where someone is at all given times, uh, or if you have a teammate shooting, people just tend to run towards the dots. So regardless of whether you're paying attention to or not, or not uh, a teammate that's shooting off an unsilenced gun can get you killed. Often. So EMP is a great idea. Uh, it really doesn't matter, but non-lethal kill streaks for the most part are the easiest way to do it. Um, granted, I'm using an AGR and a load star, and they pick me up quite a few kills because by the end of the, this particular segment of the gameplay, I go 61 and 2 or something like that. It's pretty, pretty boss score. I don't end it that way because then we start running around trying to win. But, and we, we win by a lot, they don't score at all, because we were actually stomping on them. But that's that's kind of the other aspect. In reality, you're not going to kill 30 great players in a row. It, it, it just really doesn't work. And it's unfortunate, but part of the game is stomping on nukes. And that's, that's one of the aspects of getting a nuclear. You're gonna have to sort of get a little bit lucky in that aspect, and you're gonna have to get paired up with a team of people who either don't necessarily know what they're doing or just aren't that good at doing it. Um, now there was actually one particular con somewhat confident player, uh, but I got fairly lucky when it came to that. And now if you see, I just got my 25 kills. I have 55 kills total. That's kind of why lethal kill streaks aren't really worth it. I have 55 kills, but I'm. Um, only half of them really counted towards the nuclear, so what, what, what point, what's the point in doing that? But anyway, now at this point I'm kind of freaking out, because I know these, I'm better than these people, that's, that's obvious at this point, but, uh, I haven't gotten a nuclear up until here, so I'm kind of like, okay, oh, here's a perfect example. I know that guy is there, but the VSAT actually wears off by the time I get around, and I'm not sure if he's still there, but because I'm able to use my MS, I'm able to see up, he's still just lying down waiting for something to happen, and I pick him off easy. No worries, no nothing. And that's just another example of the MMS doing its work. But anyway, back to uh, the gameplay. So uh, I have like 27 kills or something like that now. Maybe it's 28. And this is the 29th. And for this next kill, it gets a little bit nerve wracking. Because I, I think I figure out where this guy is because he shot my teammate. But he came close and he was using a submachine gun. But there it is. That's my nuclear. I was literally screaming. You can see my my uh, tag up there, right next to the thing, I'm going off. And I'm just I'm just like I just got my nuclear. Oh my god! Naturally, I die one kill after it. But what can you do? Anyway, those are my basically my tips. You want to run the non-lethal kill streaks, unlike the way I did it here. You want to run your uh, favorite guns oh, and your most comfortable guns, suitable for whatever game. map you're on. <laughs> Use perks that work. Scavenger, absolutely and whatever else really works for you, and that's, that's how game. you're going to yeah. get a nuclear. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it might take a little while to, to get into that lobby where everything goes your way, but once everything goes your way, it's it's a whole new kind of feeling to get the 30s in a row. It's, it's better than any Moab, any nuke, any... I don't know.
chopper gunner from Black Ops 1. It doesn't really matter. But anyway, those are the accolades, the medals. I was happy about it. You can see me put it on here. And that's about it. If you like this video, as always, comment, rate, subscribe. I'll see you in the next commentary. Thank you for watching. I appreciate the like. And have a nice day.